Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors. In today's episode, we're reskinning, reseating a ATV seat. So stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Tim, uh, in this episode, I know you've done this for you, your, your UTV, but uh, my ATV seat, and I'm sure there's a lot of our audience out there have experience on this, the upholstery and the seats ripped and, you know, it's, it's a 2005, so approaching 20 years, 15 mm -hmm. years uh, on this, and it's started with a little cut like they all do, and then it just gets bigger and bigger, right? So. Yep. Tired looking at it, <coughs> tired dealing with it, and uh, gonna uh, take the old one off and uh, put the new one on. I know you've done this um, on your UTV. Any uh, any hints that you can provide? Well, so I mean, I think one of those things that, uh, and you're gonna have some unique curvatures, whereas mine are square. But I think one of those is is the first thing you have to do is is choose your fabric, right? And there's different types of coatings. I think the fabric I chose is like, uh, I think they call them rubs, like 100,000 rubs. And there's a lifespan to how many rubs you have. So I've made some stools and stuff and that we'll, we'll talk about later. But I think it's about what kind of, what kind of uh, fabric you choose. And I also think I chose, since it's outside, I choose a marine, a marine type uh covering if you will vinyl so that it'll be durable i think that's waterproof important. uv you know yeah I, I i can't remember what i purchased we'll include the links i know we, it's highly unlikely we both bought the same thing sure uh, so we'll include both <clears throat> links there um, i'm pretty sure my material is uh like a motorcycle seat replacement material oh nice uh, from a waterproof standpoint i just figured what's more exposed to the weather than a motorcycle right so yeah. um but so far so good on mine and um you know we'll we'll get that done any tips on getting this you know when you actually do the do the project i you know since i'm not a professional pollster i think many hands make light work okay so more hands the better yep yeah okay I, I like that because we're going to do that right after this videotaping and my wife's kind of a uh, take charge kind of person so once i got her engaged in the process uh, she was completely enrolled you were the helping hands that's right and she was in charge well good and good. she does a good job good good so uh yeah so stay with us we're going to include all that video of doing this however this turns out and then uh you know we'll we'll come back and add our comments at the end of uh you know what we do differently or suggestions sure that work? Sounds good. All right, I uh, removed the cover. Uh, you saw how bad a shape it was. I've got some foam damage here too, but I can't really do much about that or I'm not going to do much about that. So the next step here is, is to put the new cover on it, uh, get that cut to approximate uh, dimensions, and uh, go from there.
Be safe, have Have fun, fun, and and get get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be be safe, safe, have have fun, fun, and and get get outdoors. outdoors.